Well, uh, welcome to Ride Turn Garage TV again. Today we have a finally got it kind of uh, uh, video. And that's my, yep, I hear you. Today, we've been waiting on this for like a couple weeks, but it's here, it's here. Yep, boxes in the driveway. The old Mayflower brand. If you don't know what that is, you can Google it, shishimmy it, whatever you want to do it. But today we're going to be putting those in the right turn garage home. And I'm going to let you know a real review on it rather than, you know, hey, I might be getting paid kind of review. That was just a go fast, get furious wing. No big deal. But today I'm going to set them up and hopefully... We'll get something done today. I mean, whew. at least I don't have a complete mess on my hands or anything, you know, because they're going about right there-ish. Mm. But I'll let you know what to expect, what not to expect. And these guys actually, a uh, real nice guy named Kenny, worked for like Aberdeen something or other. Uh... He dropped them off. Real nice feller. Uh, they drop them off on a lift gate, so they'll lift them down there for you. They also have a service that, um, if you want to pay for it, they will set them up. I am not ready for a setup, as you can tell, because that's just a lot bit messy and um, all that good jazz. So we're going to get the skid steer out, fill it full of hydraulic fluid, because it's empty. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get them in here. And see how many pieces there is. Turn off our notifications, because that's really, that's just, you know, just, you just simmer down there, guy. So, anyway, I'm going to unbox these things. You guys are going to get to see it firsthand, as am I. And we'll just see how difficult they are to install, put together, all that jazz. Uh, give me about 45 minutes, because I ain't started the skid steer and, um... Well, since we did the truck bed. So, whatever episode that was, I know it was cold. Which, it's raining and not so great. That's okay. You know, it's alright. We'll make it work today. And, you'll get to see it as I see it. We'll set them up. And see how good these things really are. Alright? And I will be doing a review after, I don't know, six months or a set of tires. Whatever. Just to let you know how easy they are to set up, calibrate, all that good jazz. All right? Give me a, give me about a day or two, and I'll be right back. Well, guys and gals, this is what she looks like. She's all saran wrapped up. There's my balancer with it. And if you get the deluxe Primo model or whatever, it comes with all these arms in this other tote. So you got three wooden crates that, you know, are wrapped up like a mummy. And I didn't know where to put them until I tried to move the sandblaster and I said, that thing's heavy. I can move this a lot easier and put them right there. Close proximity to the, you know, air machine. So I'm going to get these things off the pallet. They are, this is uh, pretty neat how they do this. They have these little tabs. You just, they kind of bend over with a hammer, I'm guessing. You just take a flathead, bend it up, and pull them apart. It slides into these slots right. Yep, see it right there? Right there. Don't worry, the eye rock was not harmed in the filming of this, you know, video. Those are just laying against it. They're not, I didn't chuck them, I didn't throw them. But they are mounted, you know, and hopefully... Those will come off like without spinning and stuff. So I ain't gotta try to reach underneath. Cause I don't feel like cutting on them or even reaching underneath them. I ain't even gonna lie. So, so far, I mean, she looks pretty good or I don't know. I've never had anything this fancy. It's pretty darn nice. I was actually looking on the Craigslist and trying to find anything that was like close to cheap 
The only ones you can get is the old time ones that, you know, you flop the tire down, you tighten the thing in the center and scratch the bejesus out of your wheels. These are what they call rimless or touchless, what have you, because it's got this little plastic type magic right there going on. And I got the Mayflower edition because I didn't want, I know that it's probably made as the same place as the Ching Chong Chain edition, but I just didn't want Ching Chong Chain like in the garage, you know? So nothing against Ching Chong Chain. I just, I think Mayflower sounds better. I know how to pronounce it, you know, but, um, Hopefully we can like manhandle this sucker. It's only like five foot or something. If not, we'll get the cherry picker. Dang it, it's in the other garage and it's raining. Um, if not, we'll get the cherry picker. Pick it up, manhandle it that way. Or the old Skitsarini. Nope, probably not. I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll spitball it. We'll get those bolts out, see how hard this is to move by itself. And, you know, I had to put a little gunpowder in it, but let's just see what happens and how hard this thing is to set up. I do like that it's coated in all this don't rust, you know, type oily stuff, which is probably going to help me on the gripping part. So I'm pretty happy about that. So give me like, uh, give me a few minutes. Hopefully next time you see it, it'll be like right there, Ski. We'll be putting on some arms and legs and whatever else it has. All right. Guys, we got it all out together and all this. And I was going to do more of a, uh, you know, this is what it looks like and all this. Um, the only thing I know for sure is you need this big guy to balance this. But I also have to anchor it to the floor in order to get a true good balance out of it. This thing actually went together exceptionally well. And um, I did it with no destructions at all. I actually just looked at the picture of uh, the Amazonian site and, you know, put it together for realsies. Um, the biggest pain in the booty was these two arms because it has a metal rod that slides down through this and um yeah you got to kind of balance this so i slid the bottom arm in first then the top arm and i kind of tried to balance and make it centered all the way down through use the rubber mallet to hit it knock it down through and of course you know we use this sucker for 97 percent of the whole um the build of it i guess the hoses are relatively simple. They're all pre kind of cut and they end up going where they need to. Um, this tower here was real easy to mount. These are, you know, they got threads down in there. There's two hoses underneath this. Whenever you set this down on there, the hoses go right to where they're supposed to. Uh, there is one this right here this has some sort of non-american type european fitting or something on it i don't know um the only thing that was different on it was i had one hose that i wasn't sure it was uh this guy right here i was like i don't know how this connects but there's only one outlet throughout all this good stuff so i connected it there these are all color coordinated. If you're colorblind, you might have trouble hooking that up. Bob Urban. But uh, other than that, this thing went together really, really, should I, should I say it? It went together easy, not gonna lie. Went together super easy. Um, and she's, that you do have to take this side cover off because this, big old piece here actually has three bolts that mount underneath there and you have to these have nuts on the back of them with a 19 millimeter you have to hammer down so those two underneath and there are two rubber plugs right there in that hole because i'm guessing this is your standard run-of-the-mill mayflower 
and they just make them all the exact same for this arm and double arm attachment so i mean that's what i'm guessing i don't know i never did really look at him i mean i did but i didn't you know what i mean the only thing that i really can't find is where the heck does this thing go what where i just i don't know and it would be really handy to put this you know thing on in it came with these hey don't scratch my wheels kind of inserts and extra don't scratch my wheel inserts right here so that's cool this thing was real easy to set up it came in with like regular screw on handles your wheel thingies and i mean this is nice you hear that she's down with the quickness you can just slip her on real easy came with this nice deluxe cheapy hammer and uh as soon as we mount this sucker to the floor on a permanent basis because well, you know what no we're still going to we're going to do it the right way i mean we spent the money and the tools we might as well have it the right way right it doesn't make too much sense to not do it the right way um but i'm gonna look on the amazonian site just a little bit more i still can't place this daggone box and it would be handy as a pocket on a t-shirt because it came with this this bracket right here and i've been trying to find something that has you know those type of mounting points and i'll be dipped i can't find it i don't know i really don't so i'm just going to keep on keep it on and try to find that and other than that guys hopefully these things end up being good machines they ought to they're brand new so um this was the other thing i took off of this right here i don't know if you need it i'm not throwing it away i'll put that there for a rainy day because it's well it's raining so and i'm keeping all the destructions because i you know I, I don't like issues and my luck i would throw them away and something would happen you do need air plus uh electricity so make sure you're relatively close to outlets this one here is 100 percent electric and i believe she's 110 ish does it have a cord yep she's 110 so that's gooder and that one's 110 so that's even more gooder um i was going to show piece by piece on how to put it together but honestly i mean okay there is one thing you need to know for this arm right here they over tighten this for shipping so it doesn't swing like that you'll have to loosen that and other than that guys um that's pretty much it in a nutshell i think that's all the surprises that there are to this thing which is really good and um we're gonna hope for the best give yourself plenty of room i purposely turn this sideways that way so you know and then just whoop, you know why not put them that right next to each other and i didn't want to mount it the other way because <laughs> well i got my parts washer there and that wouldn't be gooder so I don't think I'm going to permanently mount this just because it's pretty darn heavy. And if I'm rocking this sucker around, um, I've probably ate my Wheaties twice that morning, you know, and um, not gone to debt. This thing here, there's a screw in the top. Take the screw off, you take this all the way up, you lock it, you slide your screw on and thread it. There's not really too many tricks to this sucker. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um it was pretty laid out honestly but now i got a mess in my hands here and it's it's just it's it's gonna be a busy night i think you know but for now we gotta go pick up the heathens just kidding i'll go pick up my girls and uh you know wait for mommy to fall asleep tonight and then i'll come back out here and you know is that where that thing goes I don't know where that thing goes. I am so lost on it, guys. I don't I don't know where it goes. Does it go here? 
I doubt it. But we're gonna look at the holes. I ain't kidding you. Does it go here? It might go. It might go there. Maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of half afraid to loosen that because it looks like it's important. But we're still gonna look. We just might do it. All right, guys. Well, like I say, I'll give a review on this sucker after I've done some tires and wheels and all that good jazz and let you know if it's a, or a, you know. But overall, at least, at least I might be able to save a little money that cost me more money than it saved me so far. But you know, it is what it is. I just like the convenience factor too. And uh, anyway, I think you need a 15 inch wheel also and tire maybe to balance that. I have that because I have old junk sitting around and uh, I think that's gonna actually work to my benefit for once. But anyway, guys, um, gotta get going. Thanks for tuning in and watching this. I will do a review on it, I promise you. And you know, just keep watching because it's only gonna get better, all right? We'll see you next time here on Right Trunk Garage TV.